Crude oil so far for the day has failed to yet break beyond 78.5, 78.6 and it has gone closer and has reversed since then. Now it has come to the support levels at 77.5, 77.6. At the same time, net gas has tried to erase some of the gains from yesterday and it has come towards 1.82. So what to expect from oil and gas? Right now, so far for the day, oil and gas behaved precisely in the same zone as we expected. So now what to expect with the US session, how to profit, we will see with the help of charts and indicators. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and press the bell icon to stay tuned with the twice a day updates. First update I release with the Asia session. This is the second update for the day. Do like, share and comment as well friends. Your every like, comment and share is an inspiration for me to deliver to the best of my abilities. Let's start. First we look into oil followed with gas. Watch till the end. If you are not joined the channel memberships, do join the channel memberships and support them. Now look at oil here. See the rise was gradual. The fall is sharp. It has come to the support levels here, 77.4 levels, 77.6 levels, very, very good support. And thus you can sell here at 77.4, we can expect it to move. Now see, one must note here, if you look at these two candles on the early charts, you will find there are greater supports at around 77.2, 77.3 levels. That is going to be the first target zone and then 76.8 levels. So these two levels you should watch out for with caution possibility of a complete reversal like just see the rise was gradual the sharp is uh, the fall is sharp does it can continue to trade bearish from the current levels if it stays below 77.4 then and then a stock has, take, has come to oversold MACD now see MACD after rising it has crossed over trading with divergence see second red candle it has a potential for to deliver consistent red candle from the current level RSI looking downwards as well coming to two hour now look at the two hour charts here rise first red second red and then continue to if see this is going to be a, a continuation of this bearishness and thus i expect it to move towards 77.2 and 76.9 76.8 zone possibility exists the stock i stick looking downwards macd is in green trying to converge crossover for sell rsi has dropped as well coming to 3r chart similar observation here on the 3r charts highs are done first reversal sign second candle here it has come to the median of the bollinger bands i will wait for it to break below 77.4 levels and then uh, 77.2 and 76.9 these are the two support levels it needs to break in order to confirm the bearishness here a stock isic looking downwards macd is in green trying to converge rsi is flat coming to four hour charts likewise on the four hour charts higher highs in the preceding candles first red candle here second red candle here and then it will continue to trade with more bearish. Also, one must look at what it is trying to do. Higher lows here, lower highs here. It is in the consolidation zone. Where is the support? Somewhere here at around 76.3 levels. So possibility for it to hit the bottom exits. But uh, we have to wait again for it to drop below the critical levels. That is 77.4, then 76.9 or 76.8 levels. Stock I stick looking downwards. MACD almost flat. RSI is also flat. Coming to daily. Before we look into daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, be a part of my 29th mentorship match starting 4th of March. Equip yourself with the tools and strategies and the trade setups which can help you trade profitably across instruments, be it indices, commodity, currency or crypto as well. And yes, if you want to join just the signals channel, you can be part of it on Telegram. Reach out to me for details related to the mentorship batch or the signals channel. You can write an email or you can uh, ping me on Telegram. Now, let's have a look at the daily chart. See what has happened on the daily chart. The resistance here at 78.6 is very clear. What has happened yesterday after a sharp drop, it has tried to reverse and a flat top bullish closing is seen. It has started the day on a bullish note. Now it is trying to reverse. Just wait for it to drop below 77.4, below which only you can confirm that first stop is going to be near to 76.9, 76.8 zone. And below that slight bearishness is going to take it till towards, in fact, 76.3, 76 levels as well. A stock IST is in green trying to converge a bit. RSI is almost flat. Thus, considering this, I will recommend you to buy oil only above 78.2. And in fact, even if it trades above 78.2, we can look forward to 78.6 as the first milestone it needs to break. Only and only if it trades above 78.6, we can look forward to a rise towards 79.1. And then uh, if it stays above 79.1, confirm that we are looking forward to $80 plus plus. On the downside, a selling entry can be taken here at 77.4 levels, below which you can look forward to 77.2, 76.9 is a very, very good support. And then 76.3, 76 is the next. These are achievable levels. If it continues to trade bearish on the current levels, 
certainly we can look forward to lows here be watchful of this as long as 77 76.9 levels are not taken do not treat oil as bearish take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at natural gas see net gas today finding the resistance here it has reversed since then it is trying to trade with slight bearish bias now see what has happened here it has found the resistance and it is trying to break on the downside there are support levels existent at around 1.78 1.76 this is the zone it needs to break in order to confirm a reversal as long as 1.78 1.76 and rather i will say this complete zone between 1.78 to 1.74 is not breached we should not be treating net gas as bearish the stock has taken has come to oversold levels macd has crossed over at the top it is trading with divergence and bearishness rsi has dropped as well coming to two hour charts if you look at see look at the steps it has created prices are divergent from the 20 period it is trying to converge 1.8 is the level first support then 1.78 then 1.76 and 1.74 so as long as 1.74 is there we have to put a uh, 20 pips trailing stop loss and only below 1.74 is where the bears will be seen moving averages crossed over trading with divergence and are staying bullish a stock has taken bottom here macd has crossed over at the top trading with divergence only three candles away potentially we can see further drop here rsi coming out of the overbought zone here coming to 3 look at 3r charts moving averages crossing over here trading with divergence trading bullish here now uh, see after getting resistance it is showing a reversal it is certainly going to get a little support at 1.8 below which you can look forward to 1.78 1.74 zone certainly a very very good support prices might try to achieve those levels even if it is staying bullish the stock has stick falling vertically here macd is in green trying to converge crossover for sell it is not yet crossed over it is still staying bullish rsi just coming out of the overbought zone here coming to 4r now look at the 4r charts reversal sign since then we can see couple of bearish candle and this candle could be a bit sharper be watchful of be mindful of this if it stays below 1.8 uh, that is the higher price below 1.8 you can initiate a selling entry wait for it to break below 1.77 1.74 levels very very good support in between this zone you should be cautious as long as 1.74 is not beaten you should not be trading net gas as bearish only below 1.74 you can consider that little bearishness will be observed stock has stick falling vertically macd is in green trying to converge rsi is overbought coming out of the overbought zone coming to daily now look at daily charts what gas has done here, here is it is converged towards the 20 period moving average getting the resistance from the 20 period it is trying to reverse now remember uh, as i said as long as 1.74 levels are not beaten we should not be treating gas as bearish it is only to be treated bearish if it stays below 1.74 else it can potentially reverse and rise strongly be careful it, it can potentially reverse if it stays above 1.86 certainly we are looking forward to 1.9 and then 1.94 levels in fact in the near term we will look forward to 2.5 levels as well but for the day it has to stay below above 1.86 levels in order to confirm the rise here and it can continue to rise though another observation here is look at these two candles the bullishness is getting diminished look at the candle size getting smaller the resistance from the 20 period moving average is also stronger if you look at stock has taken this has come to overbought levels macd has crossed over and another interesting fact on the macd look at this if you notice it has formed double bottom and it has crossed over it can continue to rise thus there is still bullishness and possibility of a complete reversal exists in gas rsi again coming out of the oversold zone here thus you can sell at 1.8 but this is to be with extreme caution because 1.78 1.74 is the zone where we have maximum support for gas as long as 1.74 is respected it can potentially stay bullish and bounce and on the upside uh you can buy here at 1.86 levels beyond which we can look forward to 1.9 1.94 and then 2 dollar the stake your trades accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch webinar series signals channel reach out to me for any of your queries do watch the next update before the asia and europe session do like share and comment friends it's a great inspiration for me to deliver twice a day updates thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you